Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to write the remove item function for our hash table project. So in the last video I went ahead and broke the remove item function into some different cases here. And so depending on what case we run into, we're going to remove the item in a different way. So let's go ahead and write some code for each of these cases. So case zero we said was the case where we look into the bucket that might hold this name that we're looking for and we find that that bucket is empty. So in our case, the way we've coded our hash table, we're never really going to have an empty bucket. And if we go back up to our constructor, the way that we're denoting that our bucket is empty is if you go back up here to the constructor, you can see that each bucket contains one item pointer, and we make that item pointer point to a new item, and then we fill its name and drink variables with the value empty. And so we're always going to have at least that one item in each bucket. And the way we're denoting that our bucket is empty is by placing the strings empty inside of the name and drink variables. So let's go back down here now. And we'll go ahead and write some code for case zero based on the way we set up our hash table. So for our case, we're going to go ahead and say if hash table and then we're going to look into the bucket that is contained in the index variable. And then we're going to look at the name variable inside of that very first item in that bucket. And we're going to check to see if it is equal to the string empty. So this is how we're denoting that the bucket is empty. You could also say that hash table index arrow drink equals empty. And you could do a second statement there checking that case as well. And I guess we can go ahead and do that. But for our purposes right now, it's probably not really necessary to do this just for this demonstration, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. And we'll just go ahead and change this to drink. And we'll go ahead and check to see if that's equal to empty as well. So in order for this to work, when we delete other items from our bucket, we need to make sure that this case only occurs when there's only one item in the bucket. So we'll have to make sure we do that in the next few cases to make sure that this case zero will be a valid method to detect when our bucket is empty. So if this is the case, we're just going to let the user know that the person they're looking for was not found in the hash table. So we'll do a see out message and we'll print out the name of the person that was passed into the remove item function. So that would be contained in this name variable here. And so we just go ahead and print out that person's name. And then we say, was not found in the hash table. And so then we'll go ahead and just put a new line there for formatting. And so that's really all we need to do for case zero. So I'll go ahead and stop there and we'll go ahead and start coding case one in the next video. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.